Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I am a teacher and author, and this is English Nerd. So I am something of a Hamlet aficionado, and so I wanted to walk you through a variety of options for your Hamlet collection or classroom. So I'll talk about pros and cons of different versions and just go through them all really quickly. So I wanted to start with two that I don't actually own, and I own quite a few. This isn't even all of them, <laughs> but ones that are really common to use in classrooms. So the first one is the Norton Critical Edition. This is one of my favorite versions, actually. It's amazing that I don't own it yet, but it has the text of Hamlet as well as some critical essays at the end, like the rest of the Norton Critical Edition series has um, of all the classics. So it's great. Um, so pro, you have the literary analysis kind of built in at the end from a variety of perspectives. Um, pro also, there are some in-text notes. That's fantastic. Um, there is very little con to this unless you want something different out of your class than that particular angle. The other that I wanted to talk about that I don't own is the No Fear Shakespeare that Sparknotes puts out. Sparknotes, when it's used correctly and <laughs> not instead of the classics, but in addition to the classics, is actually a really great resource. No Fear Shakespeare rephrases the words of Shakespeare into a more modern language. I don't love No Fear Shakespeare just because Shakespeare did write in English. I mean, it's difficult, it's challenging, but when you change the words, you miss out on some of the incredible turns of phrase, the different connotations. It's not one that I highly recommend unless you have a student body that struggles particularly with any type of reading. That way they can still get the story. But I, I think in that case, show them the movie, talk them through the movie, which has the original text, and that would um, be just be just as effective and you would keep that original language and all those, all those uh, inside jokes and whatnot. Okay, so the ones that I have, I guess I haven't really been doing a great job of pros and cons, but I'll just explain them quickly. <laughs> the next one is the one that I use at the school where I teach. This is Hamlet the Pelican Shakespeare. I really like this version. The only complaint that I have about it is that it takes out a couple of passages that are disputed that I really like. Um, the uh, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself the king of infinite space, where not, where not that I have bad dreams. That section is pretty much taken out of this, but almost everything else is left in and it has good, um, good notes at the bottom. Not very, not very many, but enough to understand what's going on. So I would recommend, um, that one on the same level is the annotated Shakespeare, um, with an introduction and essay with Burton Raffle and Harold Bloom. So there's a little bit of extra essay action. Um, in this one, but uh, I mean, hardly. It's they're they're definitely cut from the same cloth. So if you want kind of a middle of the road a Hamlet to teach, then these are both great options. If you're looking for one that is particularly cheap, then Dover Thrift Editions is a decent way to go. It is completely bare bones. It does not have essays. It doesn't have introductions. It didn't, doesn't have any of that. It has very little in terms of footnotes even. So it's enough to maybe understand what's going on, but otherwise not a lot. So if money is a consideration, then Dover Thrift Editions are only a couple of bucks. Um, I'm sure the prices have gone up like everything has, but um, they, they can't be more than $4 a piece, um, even with all the inflation that's going on. So those are great. Um, next, there is the Arden Shakespeare. Uh, edited by Harold Jenkins. I don't know that this is a particularly popular one to teach in schools. Pro, lots and lots of notes, not only here, but also in the back. Con, lots and lots of notes. If you're trying to just read through it, there's only a little bit at the top that is the actual text and the rest is all notes. So for somebody like me who really enjoys learning all of the tiny nuances of the words, it's fantastic. For somebody who doesn't, then um, it just kind of gets in the way of the story. So 
there's that. On the other side of the spectrum, if you want just the story without too many intrusive notes, then you could go with the Arden Performance Edition, which is what it sounds like. It's for performers. And so the text is a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read on the go while you're working on blocking and things like that. There are some notes on the opposite page, but you can just stick with the original text and not get too distracted by, by those notes. The notes are also um, for the most part pertaining to performances, so the way that you pronounce things, the the inflection that should be given, and things like that. So it's kind of a fun one, but it's also really pretty big and heavy. If you're getting a lot of them for a classroom, I probably wouldn't go with, with the performance edition. If you're putting on a version of Hamlet, then maybe. Okay, and then last but not least, the Hamlet Reader. That is the entire text of Hamlet, but it does not have any notes at all. The pro of this is that you and your students can annotate it yourself without um, having those notes kind of built in. This does require more of the teacher, of course, um, but it's a blank version of Hamlet. What I particularly like about this version, though, and I'm partial because I'm the <laughs> I'm the editor. This is a lot of the research that I've done is that there are a ton of paired passages. So these paired passages are not only literary analysis, which is the case for almost every other version of Hamlet that I've seen, but it also is poetry, it's source material, it's a lot of things that don't normally get included. And so I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Um, there are essays in here as well, ranging from the ancient to the modern. So um, yes, and it has part of Laertes' Hamlet retelling in there too. So lots of different ways that students can engage with the material and you can engage with uh, it with them. So that was a lot of a lot of Hamlets, but I regret nothing. Subscribe for more English nerdy goodness, like this video if you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.